today's Living Word with Pastor Arlene. Today, let's look at James chapter 4, verses 6 to 7. Yesterday, we saw how worst is continually stay angry at unrighteousness, resisting Satan, not angry at people. And in verse um, 6, it says, But he giveth more grace, wherefore he saith, God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. And it's not God going out there just resisting people. It's pride. Satan is the author of pride. He is resisting pride, and he resists Satan through that. But if we walk in pride, we're actually allowing Satan to work in our life, and we are excluding God. We are thinking we don't need God. But it says grace, his willingness to help us on our, his power on our behalf, grace to the humble. Humble yourself, it says, by submitting. The way we humble ourselves is to submit ourselves to God. God, submit ourselves to love. Submit ourselves to the word. Submit ourselves to what Jesus has to say. And then you can resist the devil. When you have Jesus first place, when the word is first place, you then can resist the devil. It says here, the word resist means to actively fight against. Resist the devil. Actively fight against. We need to get mad at the devil and all he's trying to do to us and God's kingdom. It is a continual place in the realm of the spirit where we are to be at. And we can only do that by renewing our mind. It's not like we're angry and, mm, and the natural human anger at people, how you get frustrated or fear anger. This is putting the word first place, speaking the word. And when you use the word of God, that's how you resist Satan. And that is a place we are to be at continually. Stand against unrighteousness. Speak the word of God and hold fast to what God has promised you. Thank you for joining us this week.